and we are recording. Hey, what's up, guys? It's, um, well, now mainframe reviews on YouTube here. And today, I thought I'd play my, this is unironically my all time favorite uh, game of all time. This would be Dark Souls. Dark Souls 1 slash Dark Souls Remastered. And I'm gonna make a new game. You can see I've. I've played this game very extensively. I'm very skilled. I've played it very extensively. Um, what not? Audio? Oh, yes. Uh, thank you for 106 views on I'm the Perfect Girl, Turkey Tom. That's my first main channel view to get video. That's the highest viewed... Vi I'm tweaking right now. So, yeah, one thing I'm tweaking right now. I'm not even joking. I didn't do meth or anything crazy. I have ADHD, so when I drink coffee... It like messes me up. It either makes me like super tired or super hyper. So I'm really hyper right now. Like I'm, like I was, I ran around in circles to like blow off steam after I got off that car. We just got done driving that from LA. And I was running around in circles. I was going crazy. But um, I thought yeah, I just got a bunch of stuff done. My pr productivity is th through the roof. My stutter is pretty bad. But this is my favorite game of all time. Thank you for a hundred. Uh, ch main channel views on my first video. Thank you for 30 subscribers. It was 33, but I think they took some of them down. I don't know if it was like weird botting or something, but they took three of them away. It was 33 now we're at 30. Uh, next subscriber goal for the channel is um, 50 guys. Can we get to fit, if we can get to 50 subscribers by the end of the month, that would be great. And then 100 the next month to try to, you know, let's go to the moon. But um, I'm recording this now because my energy is very high, as you can probably tell, by the amount of stuttering and the, the way I'm darting across the screen radically. But, um, yeah, favorite game of all time. Thank you for the main channel views. Channel name is now Mainframe Reviews because when you would search three dog reviews, it would literally be like, my three dogs try this new product. Product feeding bowl for three dogs or something like that. So my, I was trying to tell my friends about my channel. None of them could find it. Um, so yeah, I changed it to Mainframe Reviews. Um, I'm going for kind of a computer theme. Um... I'm going to work on the Titanfall 2 video right after this. I promise that it's coming out. There is going to be a Titanfall 2 gameplay upload. I'm going to finally do that today. Oh, yeah. Um, I usually... I have, I guess when the other video comes out, you'll see my... The video is really old. I recorded that a month ago. But um, if I release my Titanfall 2 video... Um, today, let's override gay porn. I don't think we really need that. But, yeah. My, the, the Titanfall 2 video, I'm going to release it... Um, Acting gay in Titanfall 2. When that video comes out, um, that will be my. That will be a month old, and I say I I'm at 205 pounds in that video. I am now 294, so I'm down um, 11 pounds from that video, which shows you how rapidly I'm losing weight. Uh, which, I mean, is good or bad, depending on how you ask. But, um, yeah, the main. That's good. Um, oh my god, I can't stop blinking. Um, but yeah, this is also going to be kind of a walkthrough, too, because I'm, you know, so skilled. But, I'll let the opening cutscene play for you guys, and I'll shut up during that, and you could probably just watch me tweak, which, for whatever reason, if you want to see that. This is going to be, this is going to be Three Dog. Why not? Three Dog for the channel, so I can write this for the channel. Subscribe! Yeah, before we get into the video, um, don't forget to like, uh, if you enjoyed the video, show it to your friends, get them to subscribe, uh, scrub rolls for two videos, but, um, I'm just gonna get into this video. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna let the cutscene play now, and I'll be back with you when we're in the asylum.
Oh, okay. It's over. One of my favorite oh, favorite opening cutscenes in gaming. Um, and now there's one more before we get into the game. I'm gonna be talking over this. Um, we're in jail. I was a bad girl. I did some bad things. Karma is a bitch. I should have known better. But we're in jail. And I'm gonna show up again. I did. This is I wonder what I did. Oh, that's cool. It's just like the other round. Oh. You're a bacon man. You play as bacon man in this game. The main character in this game is in fact called bacon man and you will not look that up because you know I'm telling the truth. But we're about to bust out of here. So let's do that. This guy's helping us. So, uh, yep, yeah, this is the first area of the game. And like I said before, I'm going to be giving a little bit of a walkthrough. Through this game. So, yeah, first thing you do, you pick up this. Um, I'm not going to be explaining the controls just for the sake of time. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stay away from here as, uh, as much as you can. Because that there's a big guy in the room. If you look at him too long, he can kill you. So yeah, avoid that because he can hit you through there. Yeah, 
kill these guys for their souls. Uh, souls are the currency you use to level up. Then you're just going to continue through this area. And I'll get to it when it's coming up. There is a very difficult part coming up very soon. Well, not it's difficult. Dead. This, this is your first time ever playing this game. I think I quit this game initially. I got this game. My dad got me this game for my birthday. <laughs> and I quit this game and didn't play it for almost a month. Because I couldn't get past the guy that's past that room. Because I was a dumb fifth grader. And could not figure out. So yeah, you see there's a guy, big guy up there. Average, uh, average pyrocynical commission is up there. Um, furry fat inflation art is up there. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to run to this room as fast as you can. Get over this. A uh, good way to do is aim for this pile of rope because you will get stuck on those things. But you see he drops down behind us. And now he's fighting in the other room there. I'm going to come to here. You're going to get another bonfire which allows you to save your zone. And you know, if you notice right now we only have this. So that's the way to get through that. And now I'm just going to collect. But for this playthrough, you know I had to do it. We're going to have to do big dad build, you know, giant dad. You can usually keep the pants on. Um, but yeah, you're gonna, I'm going to do giant build dad for this playthrough. Oh, teaser right there. Teaser for my next video with my loyal fans. Figure out what my next video is. Uh, yep, my next video is going to be Fallout. I'm going to be doing a Fallout 3 playthrough. So I've, like, technically got into the very last section of the game in Fallout 3, but it glitched out and, like, stopped working. Like, it said I needed to clear more enemies, but I was, like... Literally, not even joking. Like, a minute away from finishing the game. It was the final mission. I had literally just had to do the purifier shit, you know, and then I'm gone. But, as you can see, there's a fog gate there now, and that's how you get through the boss. But, this got me my first time. Go that, avoid that. You go through here. You open this. You talk to Ox, or let me give you the dialogue. Yep, that's how you heal. Oh, and the key. Alright. Poor guy broke out of prison. He's gonna have to die. That's just how it is. Oh, I actually didn't know he like literally died. I've literally never noticed that before. Huh. <laughs> I didn't know he literally died. Okay. Yeah. So the what really got me the first time I was playing this game, and what made me originally um, quit even after getting the first boss, was the fact that you can't can't. The, what makes Dark Souls hard? Because Dark Souls fundamentally. Mechanically, when you learn it, it's not a very mechanically complex game. The one thing that's going to trip you up your first time through, though, is you can't cancel out of any attacks. So, like, see here, when I do that, I can't roll. Like, see how it cues up my all my actions. So I do this, so I'm pressing this to attack, then I'm pressing roll, then it queued up my, my dodge afterwards. So you're just putting things on the queue, nothing's actually canceling. So you can get stuck in eyes. You just have to be pur purposeful with what you do. Because you cannot un, you know, undo nothing. But, yeah, just be predictive with your attacks, I think is the best way to do it. Right now, use your environment to your advantage before you get good. But this is the first boss. What we're going to want to do is you're going to press RB in midair. You're going to hit him on the top of his head. That's going to do about 400 damage with this axe. Then you're going to get get back. That's why I suggest my first time. Then you're going to go around him this way. If he does that attack, roll back. 
and then get to hack and away. Okay, he missed his, cause, yeah, guys, tail I'm gonna do that again. There yeah, he hit me there, but it's not that big deal. You can take, he's, he's one shot, so unless you just royally, you know, fuck up. You stay kind of on his inside, or like around there, you know? You'd probably be good. But yeah. Um, we will come back to this uh, area later, but for the meantime, you can leave. And we'll get the souls from that fight in a second, you have 2,000 souls. Uh, for this playthrough, I'm not going to be doing too many jokes like my usual videos because I realize I'm not funny. Only when I talk to girls, though. Only when I talk to girls. Look at that guy. Yeah. Um, you're going to search around for these items because you're going to want the optimum amount of souls for the thing we're about to do next. The way I like to play this game, usually, is I like to look for all the things in the area. Because this, the thing I like about this game is that it's, if you, this game actually isn't that long. It's length mostly comes from its difficulty on your initial playthrough. But after your first playthrough, it's like, you can beat it in like a day. I've beaten this game um on new game plus the first time i beat it after uh first time i beat this game i beat it again right away on new game plus um two two finishes in a day pretty much took me like three days to beat it in total but um yeah let me just make sure i'm not missing any of the items i don't think i am but yeah um take it slowly something like that but yeah and now i'm gonna shut for another cutscene Okay, we're here, we're here, this is where the game really starts, that what you just saw is the tutorial, which I quit at, which just goes to show this game can be pretty difficult at points, um, and definitely on your first playthrough for sure, but this is Firelink Shrine, this is the main hub area of the game, and this will be a turning for most of your playthrough, and I'm going to show you how to find a few items here. I think you ought to rest of this bonfire. I'm just going to do it just in case. So, the build I'm going to be going for is if you're if you've been watching videos before this, or you've never played this game in particular, but you've played other Souls games, um, you've probably heard of the Giant Dad build. I usually like to do some sort of variation of the Giant Dad build when I play, but I don't do the same rooting as most people do for Giant Dad. I usually do go higher on strength. Um, so you can wheel, uh, I'll, I'll get to it in a second actually because it'll touch on the weapon, but for right now, you're going to want to walk up the stairs to get this item. You're going to want to hop down again. Walk back around. There should be a well with a dead body right there. There's a well right here. And you want to get the humanity. Nope, we'll be back there. I always have like a schizophrenic moment when I play this game and I think there's a, a body back there. But I actually don't know why. I usually think that. Uh, this guy's not important right now. You can talk to him and get an item, but you're not going to need it. I'll do that probably off camera, just in case I'm going to need to so showcase something. But yeah, I usually speed through this game, so I thought I'd just take it as an opportunity to you know, play it with you guys. But um, yeah, my main rationale is for playing this game, though, is that I can like speed through it in like 30 seconds. So I don't really have to put that much effort. Uh, we'll go back to the elevator in a second, but for right now, I'm going to level my strength, because I could die at this next part. This requires ri running through a high-level area to get an item. Don't be dissuaded. You don't even have to fight any of the enemies. You just have to look at my video, figure out where the item is. Three into there. Yeah, we're going to be going doing a few item runs before the day is over. But, yeah, I'm just going to get set up. I'm going to take you... Through all the bosses up until Gargoyles today. 
all the bosses up until Gargoyles. Okay, so this is what you're going to do for the high level item. Jump to this corner here, after coming out through the water area. Get this large soul lost and dead. These skeletons will follow you, but you just have to stay calm. You can outrun them pretty easily. Oh, maybe not. Fuck. I, may, I might be being, uh... Just grab, grab the souls here while you can. You can usually just get through. And you're going to want to be looking at this big skeleton here. You're going to want to go here, and this should be the Zui Hander. Yep, that's the Zui Hander. That's the sword you want. Then I'd recommend running down here because this is a good item, and I just usually commit suicide at this point, just to fast travel back. Because um, NPCs can get killed by these skeletons if they follow you back sometimes, stuff like that, so I just I usually don't deal with it. I usually just kill myself right there. You'll re you'll respawn at Firelink Shrine, so it'll be totally good. Because you do automatically get the bonfire, but we'll be coming back to this um, area later. I'm just going to be showing you the way I prefer to play this game. I like to usually just go for an optimum build and experience the game. Because once you have a good build in this game... You can kind of take on more challenges because the game gets easier kind of right away. And you can just kind of... You kind of hinder yourself a little bit because you're not developing all the skills you uh, might need. But, yeah. Um, this is the next group of items you're going to want to get right off the bat. If you don't want to go for this build, this these group of items are also very useful too. You're going to jump down this uh, elevator shaft. This is a shortcut you will be unlocking later. I'll show that today, definitely, because I'm going to involve the gargoyles fight. You're going to want to go down here. You're gonna get, get the homeward bones and get the morning star and the talisman. The talisman is a miracles item. And then there's one more thing here before you drop down to the graveyard. And then usually at this point, I like to run back through the graveyard and pick up anything I didn't get. Because you just kind of want a good way to start in this game is just you kind of want to get a wealth of stuff you kind of want to know. You get a wealth of stuff. You get the wing spear that can be used for a build later on. I usually just go through here, and then at this point, if I get that, I usually try to leave, just to recover the souls, just for... Get through there, but if they hit you, just dodge out of the way, so that's the big guy if the screen is shook. Usually wanna, you can avoid the big guy by jumping down here. Then, I don't think this is a slow, that's not a slow substance, so you can run right through that. But you usually just, and then you press B again to jump. Jump down through here, rest, you're good, you got your souls back. That's the first section of rooting I like to do. Um, but yeah. Get past them. Um, this NPC will be very important later, I'll be discussing her. Um, around the time we're about to get to the Gargoyles fight. But what I like to do next is you run down through here. Get this elevator. Uh, you're going to want to send it back up once you get to the bottom. So you're just going to jump on the pressure plate, roll back off when you get to the bottom. I'll be demonstrating that in a second. Get off, jump back, roll back. You know how it is. So you're going to want to jump on the thing and roll right off, and that's how you do it. And then you'll send it back up. But be careful not to walk down the mine shaft when you fucking, you know. This next part, uh, actually, no. This, this is part, this part doesn't really actually... Uh, how am I going to do the rooting for this? I don't know. I'll decide how I'm going to do the rooting in a second, but I usually, I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to do the rooting in a way where I kill these guys, get their souls, and I'm going to run, get the next item, and then circle back and lock the uh, shortcut right away. This is a very good strategy I greatly enjoy using to my advantage here. But, okay. You're going to want to, this is... Is it going to show the name? Did it show the name when I came down? I'm, I'm, gonna be like, I'm being acoustic right now. But um, you're going to want to roll. There will be an item that falls out. You're going to want to kill these guys for their souls if you're doing my rooting. Um, yeah, those guys won't even fight back. They're just the... Usually she's in the soul farm early game is what I was doing when I first played. But you're going to run back through here. Make sure you get all of them because we're trying to optimize our soul gain. We're playing this game for speed... Um, I mean, I guess probably the way I like to play this game, I say, is a combination of playing it for speed. This is a very fun speed game to get good at. Um, this is one of your first blacksmiths in the game, but you're not, he's going to be irrelevant because of the thing we're doing. Um, yeah, Rickard. That's a Berserk reference, I'm fairly sure. Rickard from Berserk. You're going to walk through here, uh, walk up here. If you have the master key, oh, I forgot. When you're choosing your gift at the beginning of the day, choose the same class and gift that I chose. 
Um, there's no stats you gotta worry about like getting correct. You just you choose the same thing as I did. You'll get all the benefits. But that's Blight Town. You don't want to head down there. That will be next episode. We'll be touching on that. Um, but yeah. So this is the first thing that can mess up your run. So I'm gonna explain how not to do that. You're gonna want to go through here. You can pick up two items, I believe, in this dragon. You can pick up the one between his hand. I usually just pick up one to be safe, though. If you get, yeah, if you get this one, you're chill. Solar Proud Knight, just pick up that one. If you pick up any of the other ones, that dragon will come alive. And he will kill you. And that will not be fun. But these guys are the next challenge you're going to be facing. What I like to do is I usually have my shield, I get my shield out at this point. And I run... Keeping close to the wall, I let my stamina recharge, and then I start running again. They're going to do that attack. When you do that, you're going to want to jump dodge. You're going to want to wait for his wing to open, and then you're going to run. You're going to keep running. Keep running, keep running, keep running. You should have enough stamina to get up here. Roll when you get the next chance. Get in here, and then after you get in here, you're safe. They cannot follow you. Then it's another elevator situation. You want to get up this elevator. And this is the next point where I like to check um, what weapon I'm going to use, because I've actually never gotten this before, unfortunately. I've only gotten it in New Game Plus. Oh, I might show off my New Game Plus characters in another video. But, yeah, you're going to want to get the bonfire here, because you are going to be wanting to retry this section if it is... you're not getting the outcome you like. But this is the first shield you'll be getting in the game, and first potential main weapon as well. Coming here through, this is a high-level enemy. This is a Black Knight. Don't worry about that attack. Uh, just get him with a backstab. Okay. Uh, see how it does barely any damage? That's how it's going to be. Unfortunately. Try to get for the parry there. Yeah, okay. I'm going to... Estus when he's down. Oh, when he's down. Follow my own advice. He's going to backstab spam. You backstab by normal attacking behind an enemy. Just backstab spam this guy. When you get good at this game, this is not going to be a valid strategy your first time through. I usually just run and get the item. But if you are in ex if you've played the game before, oh what was that? That was weird. Oh okay, so that actually worked out really well for us. Uh, I'm going to save and reload the game because that's how you get the item. If he <laughs> were to drop the item, which would actually be great because I would love to do a playthrough with the Dark Knight Hobbert. Um, one of my first ever videos I watched Darks was a guy doing it, so it'd be really cool to relive the nostalgia. But you're gonna if it, if an enemy falls off a cliff, you're gonna want to save and reload, and you can get their item. So you're gonna load game. You're gonna find your character. Um, three dog. It's my it's our dude. It's our homeboy. Load back in on that character, and there should the item should spawn in if they have dropped it as a little glowing item thing. Let's see if you did. He did not get the item. And that's the Grass Crest Shield, so I'm going to go with that now. The Grass Crest Shield is one of the best, I mean best, items in the game. Grass Crest Shield uh, increases your stamina regeneration, so look how much faster that is now, so you can roll a lot more times. Succession. Jesus Christ. Succession. Um, there's another non-hostile um, creature you're going to be looking out for. It's a Crystal Lizard. You're going to get some upgrade materials. I'll be touching on those in a later video. But yeah, the main reason I want to make this video is just I want to help beginners get into Dark Souls because this is like my all-time favorite game. And I feel like if I had a good resource when I first did it, I wouldn't wouldn't have led me to um, quitting the game initially, which would have sucked because I could because like the way things you know shake out over time, I could have never rediscovered the game and stuff like that. But yeah, um, also in the comment section down below, if you could leave some comments just saying what I need to improve, how you think I could improve my. Commentary. Oh, that's the enemy. Just want to kill this. Make sure you stay close. Make sure it doesn't disappear. If you press the attack. Okay, you got him. He's going to give you two light trying shards, two twinkling titanite. Those are used to upgrade your weapon. And then you're going to want to head on. Just make sure he doesn't disappear. So if you get to him, make sure you attack him. That you just can't keep him stunned like that where he was on his back. And you should be able to get him pretty good. But, yeah. A big thing I feel like I wanted to know if I play this game again is you can run past literally every enemy in this game. They're far slower than you if you know how to, if you learn how to conserve your stamina. 
but there'll be a few enemies through here. Just get around them. Yeah, just take your time, honestly. This game, you suffer the most, because I like you said before, you can't queue out of your attacks. You suffer the most. But yeah, there's a big guy in here, don't be scared. You suffer the most, um... When you panic, see if I had- oh, goddamn. Ooh, damn. <laughs> you suffer the most when you panic like that, and stuff like that. But, so I'm just going to do the run again, which is no big deal. It's an easy run. Easy, easy run. Um, yeah, I'm going to pop actually a few souls, see how much I need to level up, and then pop a few souls, and see if I can use the weapon I was going to use before. Um, you can kill that guy, he gives you- uh, oh. Oh, crap. Yep. Yeah. You can see how janky my recording method is. Let me just see. I don't really get into the game, guys. But, um, yeah. That guy's pretty hard to, you know. Kill, you don't need to kill him initially if you just want to get rid of him. Oh, what? I just lit the bonfire. I didn't rest. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, slight technical difficulty. I lit the bonfire, I did not rest at it. That's a very important thing I need to remember you guys to do. I can't even wield it with two hands. What's its strength requirement? Okay, let me level up so I can actually show you this weapon. I'll show you how to equip your things off in the early game. So you just want to put them in here. This should give you enough, so I'm just going to pump all your next things into strength. So you pump your souls. You should have this many souls exactly. You can go back and count if you really want. Take take notes, kids. Pop all these souls exactly. And you should be able to then level up enough to get this y hander. Oh, yeah, definitely you're good enough to level up here. Damn. Twenty-two. So you're two levels away now from wielding this effectively, and then you're gonna. Huh? Oh, I need to level up dexterity. Shit, I fucked up. Okay, let me. Not do that. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna make a cut in the video. Oh, shit, I fucked up, we gotta go, ball. No, wait, I'm just gonna play the game normally. I'm not gonna do a sequence break, because that's a little advanced, and I'm pretty lazy, so. Play the game normally. You're gonna come up from Firelink Shrine, you're gonna be able to kill these guys. They're not, they're very easy. Just make sure, when they're about to attack, usually, you can one-shot all of them, so when they're about to attack, you just attack. The second you see their attack go off, you're faster than them, so you'll kill them. Um... This guy's throwing firebombs, so just be careful. If he gets stunned, don't freak out. Just focus on dodging, not attacking afterwards. It's usually the good rule of thumb for stunning in this game. If you take some damage, just wait to recover, because you can one-shot all of them, I think, with the battle axe if you are filling my build. Yeah, run to the end of the bridge here. Pick up this. It's another soul. You'll be needing that. My one level in dexterity I missed. I'll be showing my stats on screen, what they should look like by the end of this video. You want to drop down, land on this little bit right there. So walk completely to the edge, drop down, make you feel tries, but it's okay. This is the first, like, good item. This is a ring. Do not equip it yet. When you equip that ring, when you die, you usually lose all your XP and your humanity, which I'll explain later. But with that, you do not. So... That's good. Now you won't do that. But do not equip that now. Equip that at a time where you're like, I can't lose anything. I really need to level up if I die. Yeah. Oh. I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't get the jump on him. I know. I got the jump on him. Yeah. Kill him. Get the soul here. For the XP. Um. Souls. 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 But. I remember the first time. I beat this game. 
I was so excited. I And this game, honestly, I'm going to be completely real, guys. This game shaped a lot of my philosophy. I'm not even joking around. Discipline and hard work. Souls games are a must-play, like, I'm not even joking, like, life experience. It shapes, it shaped my philosophy, and, like, what's inspired me to get in shape is, like, I would say it's partly due to the philosophy I learned from Souls games, just, like, trying stuff that's hard, and learning you'll be able to get better at it, stuff like that. It's made me more confident in games overall. It's, it, it's the game I know the most about. I, it's the game I know how to, I do, know how to do the most glitches in. It's a great game. I highly recommend you guys play it up. But the way I'm playing right now is kind of robotic and kind of taking, I know it's kind of taking a little bit of the experience out, but when you're in oh, surprise, dragon. Uh, you'll be seeing him later on that bridge, which you will be on at, in a second. But yeah, just kill these guys. But yeah, you're going to kill these guys and then put your level into dexterity and you should be able to have the weapon. And then this next boss is a breeze. Yeah. But this is, like I say, this game is so short that when it came out, the game before this, Demon Souls, the spiritual successor, I mean, spiritual, be spiritual predecessor, actually, to this game. Oh, yeah, see, that's what you have to worry about queuing up at. Dude, I told you I was tweaking. Um, yeah, you have to worry about queuing up actions, because that will happen, or you'll be stuck in a loop of doing something. That's where the main difficulty comes from. Yeah. X is to open doors. Remember that, not A. I mean, no, A is to open doors. X is to heal. Kill that guy. Get this bonfire, and then you're gonna. Yeah, and I'll be showing you a method using this bonfire later. That is very nice. Now, what do we need? For this is Y hander. This Y hander is a weapon you're gonna be mainly using for the build. Oh, sick, yeah, we can use the Y hander now. Okay. So go to your inventory once you get I'll show you the stats in a second. So you can see you cannot use it with one hand, the X is still there with two hands. The X goes away and now you can use it. Best weapon, I'm not even joking. Best weapon at all stages of the game. Best for PvP if you the PvP is pretty dead in this game, unfortunately, but best for PvP when you can do it. Um yeah, my stats right now should be soul level 13. You should have around 346 souls right now. You're, uh, and then the stats you need to worry about is you're going to want a strength of 20 or more and a dexterity of 10. Um, I'll be showing you how those scale in the later videos just to get the max damage out of this, but I'll be showing you a demonstration of this Y hander now. So that you will start to slow one roll slower. I think you probably could strip naked. Yeah, another thing about this game is you're on, you, armor, not important. Unless the armor is giving you an ability that significantly increases your su survivability overall in an area, you're never going to be wanting to wear armor. You're always going to be going fast, so you can, like, I'm going to actually say it like I mean it and unequip these pants to show you. You do not need armor to be fly at this game, because you want to be rolling like this pretty much all the time, which is hard to figure out. This game doesn't make it too easy, you know, to figure that out, because... Yep, yeah, see the queuing up? You just dodge because you can't get your attack off there. Damn. Yeah, I'm pretty out of practice with this game. I promise you I've beaten this game multiple times. But you gotta be careful of that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna... There's not too much more to talk about in this segment, so I'm just gonna find it. I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna rush, rush through it. Um, yeah. Don't not actually rush through this section. I'm trying to reconnect. I don't want to stop playing right Folk. I promise I will actually be okay. Is that gonna happen every time I die? Is it gonna freaking kill me in real life, too? God damn. But, yeah. I wanna go through here. Oh, you can avoid everyone, though. I don't know. Oh my god, we're back. Oh, crap. I'm in a pickle. Just gonna take this area slower this time. I think I forgot my sequencing a little bit. Careful with that. Yeah, I think just you should probably use light attack starting off for this area. can avoid those guys. Run out. Cuba heavy. Yeah. Caught the tip, but I didn't do any damage. That's what I usually like to do. I usually have to run out of this house. Then you usually go back in through here. Kill this guy. Kill that guy. 
Oh my god, I'm having schizophrenic flashbacks, bro. Open this chest. Get the black fire bombs. You're gonna wanna equip those because those actually do damage at this stage of the game. Fire bombs are one of those items in this game that does not get um better as the game goes on. I mean black fire bombs I think is literally as good as they get, I think, and then lightning jars, but I don't even know where you would get I've never even used a lightning jar, I don't think, once. Yeah. This weapon is gonna make you feel like guts from Berserk. Favorite weapon in the game. Master key, another reason you need to take this. Gets you your first majorly important item of the run, and I mean majorly important. Um, this, Golden Pine Resin, it, it applies a lightning attribute to your weapons. Um, I'm going to tell you why this is better than just getting the lightning attribute with upgrades later on. At this point, um, the lightning attribute plus a weapon, because this can affect any weapon of any... Um, like sufficient upgrade so when this is plus 15 which is the max upgrade in the game you can also put lightning on top of it which will make it do more overall damage as it like instead so you can upgrade this to plus 10 then give it the lightning attribute but you can upgrade this to plus 15 and give the lightning attribute with that which does more overall damage is what i'm trying to basically say in 27 words for some reason when they're staggered you should you can usually get away with something like that but uh Let's see if I still can uh, do the Taurus strategy. I think I should be able to do the Taurus demon strategy. Take out this guy. One hit, one kill. Only have two Estus. Jeez, I Christ, I need. Oh, yeah, this thing. Yeah, be careful of that. I almost just died of that. Yeah, you can see I'm going to run quarters like that, and that makes you feel pretty cool. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's freaking up. Let me just reconnect again. Yeah. These gameplay videos are going to have to get better eventually. I'm still going to post this, even though I have so many technical difficulties while playing. Some of these older uh, games... Have trouble with this kind of thing. I was having, a, I didn't have any trouble with Dead Space though, but I don't think that's an online connectivity based game, so I think it's really fine. Yeah, um, quick recap we're on this. My game disconnected. Um, this door, you can open this door now, uh, yes, with the master key. Do, do not go down here yet. There is an enemy, you will need to kill him later for the build that we're doing, but not now. So you're gonna wanna help the stairs for now. You're gonna wanna, it's in one of these barrels, I'll find it. Swing in these barrels with his weapon. Now you should be able to one shot. It's another crystal lizard. You should be able to one shot him. He's not in those barrels. So you said the barrels up top. There'll be one more crystal lizard. You should be able to kill him. Um, he's in this one. Yeah, I got him. He's in the last two. Just one swing. Aim him properly. You should be able to give me the chunks. Okay, now go here. First thing you're going to do is you don't want to walk any farther forward. You're just going to stick here. Move here. Up the ladder. Roll, hit, roll, hit, take these guys out. Okay, this part, I'm not even joking, the theme for this boss used to give me so much anxiety. I had a nightmare with like full HD audio of this theme for the boss. And like I woke up like not even joking, sweating. But yeah, walk here, head, run back. So this is the same thing you did in the other fight, you know. A, climb. You can get up. That would be great. Do not dilly-dally up here. Do not dilly-dally up here. That's another thing. Look at that. 666 damage when the fight started. That's pretty crazy, huh? Oh, stuck in him. And then throw your black fire bombs on him. And walk away. And... You have this fight in the bag. Right away. Uh, now you have the fight in the bag. And then you got him. But, yes, this theme is very scary. It used to give me nightmares. This boss fight used to literally give me an anxiety in school. Because I would be, like, thinking... I would be in fifth... I would not even doing it. I would be in fifth grade class. I'd be thinking about it. It's like, oh, my God! I need to be the tourist demon when I come home. But, yeah, that used to give me so much trouble. And now I know all the rooting. Um, I'm chill. What do you know? But...
Is there another crystal laser on my tripping? No. Okay, don't destroy those. Don't be stupid like me. Destroy this one at the end. There's an item behind this. Destroy this at the end. You're gonna want to talk to this one NPC. Then guess what you're gonna want to do? You want to backtrack? That's locked. Okay, you can't open it. You're gonna want to talk to this NPC, and this is the goat of all Dark Souls. You've probably seen this guy in a thumbnail too if you're researching this game. But let's talk to him. Press yes. White substone. Cool. Okay, you got the soapstone from him. He's the goat, as I said before. Get a look at this nice view. But this is where this item I was talking about was coming to play. Your homeward bone. Homeward bones are going to take you back to the last bonfire you rested at, and that's where we're going to level up. And then I'm going to do some backtracking. Probably cut that out of the video, and then we're going to get back to the bonfire I was before, and we're going to try to do that run again. We're going to get to the first blacksmith of the game, and then the next boss. We're gonna level up strength twice. Then at this point, I think literally what you do is you just pump endurance. Endurance is your best friend. It upgrades your stamina and your carry capacity. So yeah. Now we're gonna backtrack back through this area. Now 24 strength, we can use this with one hand. It is a lot slower though. Oh my God. It is a lot slower though. And with no armor, if you're not good at dodging, you will take a lot of damage. Get back, cheap little backstab. Not really needed. I'm gonna show you a few more things in this area, and then we're out of here. We're done. Oh my god. Also, gonna need a lot of stamina to use a weapon this big. That's another thing. Should be it. There's another thing in this game called dead aiming on shields. If you aim to the corner, you can usually get away with that and then stagger them. Or if you dead angle it, I think, extremely enough, you can get around their shield and kill them. Jump scare here. Kill that guy. Don't go in there, actually. There's nothing we need there yet. I will be showing that in a later version. Let's talk to this guy. I'm gonna buy one repair powder. You don't really have to. And that's the chain armor set. Uh, I will be purchasing that later, I think. And I'm gonna leave. I bought a thing, you stupid fucking retard. Okay. Yeah, he's a pissy bastard, so. Uh, you can kill him, too, for a unique weapon. I'll probably be showcasing that after I don't need him for literally anything. Um. But yeah, um. 
I don't think I'm just looking at based on time and what I else I need to do for the channel today. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to get into gargoyles, but we might. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're picking these things up. You can feed them to an NPC later for souls. Come back out the way you came. I usually don't kill the rat in this return trip, but you can if you want to. Oh, yeah, be careful of that attack. He'll freaking fly at you from, like, up... Dude, he... That's, like, some LeBron shit, dude. He jumped up all those stairs. I, that's actually crazy. <laughs> that is some You Are My Sunshine shit, bro. You are my sunshine. That was a FNAF jump scare. What the fuck was that? I just realized how many steps he jumped out. Yeah, they'll do that sometimes. Kill these guys. Because they're free. They're super free for free. Get their souls. And you're going to want to level up endurance one more time when we get back. And then... Hey. Second item of the run. Look at that guy. Okay, no levels actually. Let me, let me get something. Use about three of these guys. You should be able to get to your next level goal. Actually, I need to probably actually read. No, uh, scratch what I said. Use four of them exactly. Use exactly one more. Use exactly one more of those. Endurance, you're going to want to get to 30, I think? I don't know. Same thing. Send this bad boy back up when you get to the bottom. Um, yeah, send this bad boy back up once you get to the bottom. And we're gonna don't, don't kill any of the enemies this time because you are gonna be killing yourself at this point to get an item. Damn, if I could jump that. I'm not the parkour master I thought I was. Beef jerky man. Okay, let me get through here. Average LA tweaker. Average LA crack addict tweaker. But this section uh, later is one of the most annoying sections in the game. Right now, you don't have to be here too long, but I'll show you how to get this essential item. And that's going to come into play. That uh, NPC I said was important earlier is going to come into play right now. Not there. You're going to want to walk to this door. Then you're going to want to. Oh, crap. Run with your shield out. Get past those guys. Press A, uh, then kill yourself. We jump right off. Just do that. Um, this item is the Firekeeper Soul, and I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Estus Flask with this. Uh, the Estus Flask upgrades make them heal more per flask. Um, we'll get to an, some other capacity upgrades for them, so how many you can carry um, in the next video when I touch on kindling, because there is an area in the next video where we're going to need to be kindle. Um, yeah. Sick. Okay. I'm gonna come down here to this lady. It says talk. She can't talk. You're gonna want to go reinforce SS flask. You're gonna press yes. There's a little. You're now you're doing math on your SS flask. There's a plus symbol there. Now you're gonna ask what is that? What is that plus symbol? What is that plus symbol? Well, I'm glad you asked. That plus symbol. Um, that means your SS Flask heals more, so the more you know. Um, same deal, come back down here again.
And let's not do gargoyles today. I'm going to need to think that. I'm going to show you what bonfire to end up at. So go through this little thing this time. We're going to do the same deal. We're going to run back to the bonfire. I miserably failed out last time, and we're going to end the video. Um, yeah, as I said before, just tell me what I need to work on in the comments. Um, this video should be edited up a little bit more soon. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get back to this bonfire, and then we're going to call quits. Um, but yeah, thanks for all the support I've been getting. Thanks for the subscribers. Thanks for the views. Um... There's going to be, if I get to, if you're going to get, soon you're going to get used to me uploading more consistently because I have this series to upload for. So, if I do not finish, actually no, I'm going to finish the series. I'm moving houses, so whatever I'm doing before I move houses, while I'm moving houses, um, there's going to be a lull in the uploads, so please excuse me for that one that does come up. Um, there probably is going to be a few shorts. Um, yeah. Same deal, same advice I had before for these guys. Oh. Okay. That was a closer call this time. Remember, just stay still, don't tweak, you're good. Don't tweak, you're okay. Oh yeah, be careful of that. Make sure you do not walk straight into there and die, because that will not be the floor you think it is. So, be careful of that. And well, Mr. Trump. I just realized this guy looks like Donald Trump. Oh my god. Yeah, oh, I forgot to tell you the main villain in this game is in fact Crooked Hillary. I'm not gonna put anybody on a train besides Crooked Hillary. Um, right by Trump Impression, one out of ten. Okay, now you've actually rested, you can save, quit your game, pat yourself on the back for beating two bosses in Dark Souls in one day. I love you guys. And? Comment your opinion on transgender bathrooms down below. And let's get right out of this video. And let's stop recording. Bye.